Hi, this is Sarah McClellan with Pixels and Pearls, and we're in Philadelphia at the Digital Pharma East Conference. I'm standing here with Mr. Bob Garfield, who is the author and consultant of the Chaos Scenario. Uh, you just had your presentation inside, and Twitter was going off the hook. People were so engaged. Uh, even myself, uh, you know, I was in there and I felt like you connected so strongly with everyone in the room. People were laughing. I saw someone. Uh, you know, um, say that you reminded them of Anthony Bourdain. And yeah, I mean, this is like a rock star that. chef. You're like a rock star farmer guy. Uh, there's no question about it. I am <laughs> like in the, uh, historically in the upper middle of trade journalism. And that, you know, that comes with groupie uh, action and stuff. And it's, it's always exciting. And to today was no exception. I mean, a lot of them are women and, and I'm me. Look at that. I'm, I'm getting a little uh, pink-cheeked myself. But um, tell me about your history. Tell our viewers a little yeah, bit about where you're coming from. Okay, so I'm a journalist who's been covering uh, marketing and uh, advertising and business in general for 30 years. And uh, for the last, I would say, seven or eight years, I've realized that the, w the sky is falling and that the old media and model, uh, uh, old media and marketing symbiosis, the yin of media and the yang of mar mass advertising have been flying apart, never to be rejoined. And I've been delivering this message to dubious, uh, angry, uh, eye-rolling audiences for n like seven years. Now they're less dubious and less eye-rolling, less angry, uh, but really scared. And uh, th they should be scared because the, their whole way of doing business uh, as marketers is, is, is disintegrating. And what I'm here to tell them is, yeah, yeah, that you're in trouble, but there's a way out. And the way out is the, the digital path. Mm -hmm. The very thing that is destroying you is going to rebuild you and you'll be better and stronger than you ever were. If you understand that it's not about, you know, dictating um, your message, but having relationships with your audiences. Uh, you mentioned in, this, in the talk that, you know, you've got to listen to your community, uh, com consumers, I should say, because they're hearing something from someone else about you. You know, whether you're talking to them or not, they're hearing about you. What was your point about that? Well, I think you just said it. Uh, you can spend hundreds of millions of dollars with a message that you have carefully crafted to tell exactly what you want to say about your brands and about your corporation. And, you know, you may as well just be, you know, um, 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 spitting into the wind because, uh, first of all, people aren't seeing your advertising even though you've paid to put it in front of them. They're avoiding you. And secondly, they don't trust you or believe you, anything you have to say in your advertising because it's just like, you know, it's, I don't know if you uh, ever used to see these Peanuts Christmas specials and whenever adults were, uh, were depicted, it was always just voices of like trombones and the, or uh, trumpets with me. It's yeah, that's what advertising messages are to the consumer. We are talking to one another about third parties. And that what, what, is a, what marketers have to do is listen to the conversation because they're going to learn a lot. Mm -hmm. They have to participate in the conversation, not try to steer it, but just try to build, cultivate relationships with individuals, uh, who, and it, which is the only path to, having, to building trust and any kind of sustainable ongoing relationship. And if you do that, while well, you don't have to spend billions of dollars uh, uh, making them laugh in 30 second commercials that don't sell anything. You, you were saying in, in working on that point, you were like all advertising to consumers is spam. Yeah. You know, so if you broaden beyond that and make a real connection to these people, then it starts getting, you know, you're bridging those gaps. Um, is there any one point that you could pass on to these marketing professionals to really, in today's world where digital is really making a lift off and it's necessary, what would be your one point of advice to these people to sort of take it to the next level? <laughs> if you can make it one. Well, just listen. Li <laughs> listen to what people are saying about you, listen to what people are saying about their health, listen to how people communicate about pharma in general, about your your pharmaceuticals in particular. Uh, listen to people, uh, how, they, uh, how they ridicule uh, or pass on genuine information from the, from the direct consumer advertising you are doing. Listen really carefully and then figure out a way uh, to get in on the conversation and to, to, to act and, and speak in a way that will, that doesn't sound like advertising, but will uh, en enable you to win friends, and, uh, and friends will do a lot for you. They will do a lot for you, and not just buy your, 
you know, your molecules. Uh, they will be your marketers. They will be your product developers. Uh, they, uh, they'll do it all for you once you've won their, their friendship. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. And make sure you go out and get the book, The Chaos Scenario. You know, sir, I have to disagree. Christmas is just around the corner. <laughs> get two. <laughs> get one for your friend. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. This is Sarah McClellan with Pixels and Pills.